Hi everybody, I'm back. And today, I'm gonna show you all how to make meatloaf. Here's what you'll need. Okay, first thing that you will need is ground beef. Now, if you wanna do this with a mixture of meats, you definitely can. Hey, you can use ground turkey, you can use ground veal, you can use ground beef, ground pork, whichever ground meat you, meat you would like to use, you can do that. Today I'm using all ground beef, okay? And this is three pounds. The ingredients that you will need, you will need one medium red bell pepper, chopped finely, one medium white onion chopped finely as well. You will need one medium green bell pepper, chopped finely. You will need three eggs. This is three large eggs. You will need ketchup as well. You will need Lipton onion soup mix and a packet of ranch powder dip mix. Okay? You're gonna need milk, garlic powder, herbs de Provence, sea salt, black pepper, yellow mustard, you will need cornflake crumbs. We're gonna use cornflake crumbs in replace of the bread crumbs today. Absolutely, guys, and seriously, if you ain't never heard me before, listen to me when I tell you this. If you all have never had a meatloaf with the cornflake crumbs, you have to try it today, you hear me? It makes for the best meatloaf. So, first thing that we're gonna do, let's go ahead and bring our meat closer to the camera. Let's go ahead and put in our green bell pepper, our white onion, and our red bell pepper. All right, make sure your hands are impeccably clean because we just might go in with our hands and mix everything up. Sometimes I feel like it's better when I mix things up with my hands. You can kind of get in there a little bit better. All right, so let's go ahead and start seasoning up our beautiful ground beef. Let's pull our camera down, put your three eggs in, just like so. Everything that I make in this kitchen, so easy. Nothing that I make in this kitchen is hard to make. Everything is so easy, so much fun, and yet it tastes so good. You hear me? Absolutely it does. We're gonna go in with some yellow mustard. Anytime I make a meatloaf, I like to put a little bit of mustard in there. It really gives you a nice flavor, okay? We're gonna go in with some cracked black pepper. Okay, get you a nice amount in there because we have three pounds of meat here to season. Absolutely we do. So you wanna get it well seasoned. Beautiful. And we're gonna use sea salt today. Oh yeah. I've been using this sea salt lately and sea salt is the way to go, guys. You hear me? Make that switch if you haven't. Okay, hold on, my salt's not coming out. There you go, come on out of there, beautiful. Okay, we're gonna use some Herbs de Provence. Okay. And when you all season up your meat, I want you to season it how you like. Okay, when you all make my dishes, you season how you like, how much of what you like, all right? Put you some garlic powder in there. You gotta have garlic powder, you hear me? And then we're gonna go in with the onion soup mix. Let me grab uh, some scissors so I can open this up. And now your onion soup mix will come, this box here will come with two packets. We're only gonna use one today. Okay, just one is all you need. All right, it's gonna give you nice flavor. You hear me? Oh, absolutely it is. Hoo-wee! Now we're cooking. And I tell you what, believe it or not, guys, this right here smells so good. We ain't even got started yet. Okay, 
Let's go in with my kitchen shears and we'll cut the ranch packet open. And we're gonna use one full ranch packet as well. Okay. Get that bad boy down in there. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, I'm really cooking in this kitchen. You hear me? And when I make something, I'm aiming for flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor. I like for everything to be well seasoned. Now over here, I have a little bit of tomato sauce. I'm gonna mix this tomato sauce with some ketchup and just a tad bit of honey for the top of my meatloaf, okay? But I'll, we'll do that later. All right, let me take my watch, my rings and everything off. So that we can go in here and mix everything up. Okay, get your ketchup in as well. Get all that ketchup in there. I find when you use ketchup in your meatloaf, it really gives it a beautiful taste. Absolutely it does. Get that down in there. And then you, um, we're, let's grab our corn flakes. <clears throat> corn flake crumbs. I used to work at a nursing home years and years and years ago. And they made a meatloaf. And they used corn flakes. And when I had that meatloaf, I thought, oh my goodness. If this isn't the best meatloaf. And what it was is it was the cornflake crumbs. And so today we're going to put cornflake crumbs in. Hoo-wee, and you're going to have one of the best meatloafs you've ever had. You hear me? Use that in replace of your bread crumbs. Or if you're one of those persons that like to use oats, use the cornflakes in replace. Absolutely. All right, let's put these back down into this box. I'll have to put that inside of a Ziploc bag so I can make sure it's nice and fresh. It stays fresh. So what you do, whether you're using breadcrumbs or the cornflake crumbs, you always want to pour milk over top of them to kind of soften it up a little bit, okay? And this will tenderize your meatloaf and assure that you're going to have a nice, juicy, moist meatloaf. Now... We're gonna go in. We're gonna go in. My hands are impeccably clean. And I'm gonna start mixing this bad boy up. My goodness, don't be afraid, guys. Don't be afraid to put your hands down in there, okay? Mix it up. But the key is, you don't wanna handle this too much. If you handle it too much, what will happen is you'll have a tough meatloaf. And we're not aiming for a tough meatloaf today, okay? We want it to be nice and tender. So handle it as less as you can. But what you wanna do while you have your hands in here is do everything that you can to get everything well incorporated, okay? And we're gonna do just that, okay? We're almost done with the mixing process. Like I said, don't handle it too much. We don't want any tough meatloafs. Beautiful, and it smells so good. My goodness, it smells so good. Okay, so we are done mixing the meatloaf. I'm gonna put the video on pause, wash my hands, because anytime you're dealing with raw meats, you always wanna wash your hands so that you don't transfer bacteria, okay? We don't want anyone to get sick from bacteria. I'll put the video on pause, wash my hands, and I'm gonna show you how to make this into a beautiful loaf. Be back. Okay, everyone. Now let's go on in. We're gonna dump out our meatloaf mixture into a baking dish, okay? And I'm just gonna lose, use this aluminum baking dish. And what you wanna aim for is a loaf. Now, if you wanted to do something like a square, absolutely you can. If you wanted to do a rectangle, if you wanted to, uh, any shape that you want it to do, okay? But I'm gonna show you the loaf technique. And all you have to do is just let that bad boy 
fall right down, fall right out of your bowl into the pan that you're gonna use. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shape this into a loaf form, okay? Just like this. Okay, you wanna smooth out any cracks that's in it. Okay, you wanna make it not too high, but you want it high enough so that it looks like a meatloaf, okay? Like I said, feel free to use a low form pan. Okay, you make this into a football, whatever you wanna do, you can make this into little tiny meatloafs if you want it to, all right? Just like so, smooth out any areas that look like it might be cracked because we don't want all your juices to go flowing out as this bad boy is cooking, you hear me? We want all that beautiful juice right down in here to stay in here, all right? Take your time, smooth the edges out, and get the shape that you're looking for, okay? Do just like that, smooth those cracks out. Take your time. Anytime you're in the kitchen, I want you all to take your time. When you take your time and you have patience, oh, trust me, you're gonna have some good food, you hear me? Because patience, I promise you, patience is the key to good cooking. Absolutely it is. When I, every dish that I cook, I like for them to say, oh, Gina, baby. Oh, Gina, baby, you put your foot in that. And, you know, and I'm thinking in my head, mm-hmm, I sure did. You know, because I really do. I, I put love in everything that I make. I don't care if it's a fried egg that I'm making. I'm going to put my heart, my soul, and everything that I have into that egg. Absolutely, I am. And if you're not doing that in the kitchen, uh, I'm not sure what type of food you're serving people. <laughs> Right? Okay. So we almost have the loaf that we're looking for. And so what I'm seeing right now, I'm seeing that this side is a little bit lower and this side is a little bit higher. So I want to push some of that over this way and get it nice and even. The reason why you want it to be even is because you want it to cook evenly. Okay? You don't want for one side that's done and the other side not to be done. Okay? So by you making it nice and even, it'll get done at the same time all around the whole meatloaf. Okay? And what I like to do is pour just a little tiny bit, guys. Trust me. Just a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan, okay? Just to get it going. Okay? But that little bit of water will definitely evaporate. Okay? Okay? And you're going to get some oil that's going to come off of your meatloaf into your pan. But before we serve the meatloaf, we'll pour all of that oil off. Because you don't want to digest that oil. Okay? So I have the size that I'm looking for. And I'm pushing it in a little bit like this to make him stand nice and tall for me. And pushing the sides in. Beautiful. Let's grab a little bit of water. And I'll show you just how much I like to put in. Give me just a second, everyone. Meanwhile, I'm washing my hands over here at the sink. All right? Like I said, anytime you're dealing with raw meats, you make sure you wash your hands so we don't get anybody sick that you're feeding. Okay? All right, meanwhile, I'm grabbing my water over here at the sink. It's going to be nice cold water. And I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a half a cup of water here. I'm just going to put just a little bit in. I might not even put that whole half a cup in. Okay. Let's see. That's about all you need. And see, it's hardly, I didn't even use the half a cup, okay? Just a little tiny bit to get it going. Now, 
We're gonna put this in the oven on 350 degrees and watch this bad boy cook in your house. Your house is gonna be perfumed with the most beautiful smell you could ever imagine. You hear me, this meatloaf right here, trust me when I tell you guys, this meatloaf right here is a winner, especially when you took the time to put that onion soup mix and that ranch powder in there. Whoo! And not to mention those cornflake crumbs. Oh my goodness, girlfriend, you hear me. Let's get this in the oven. I'm going to show you how to make my beautiful sauce that we're going to put on the top of this meatloaf towards the end of the cooking process. I'll be right back. Okay, so let me show you how to make this sauce. I've put some ketchup in there. How much ketchup? Oh, just put you some in there, right? We just want enough that we can put on top of our meatloaf. Loaf. This cannot go wrong. So however much ketchup you want, that's how much you use, okay? I have a little bit of tomato sauce. I'm gonna put just a little in, okay? Just a little bit, that's all I need. And then we're gonna put some honey how much, honey, Gina? Just put you some in. How much do you want in there? That's what I want. That's all I need. We're going to mix this bad boy up. And this is our sauce that we're going to put on top of this meatloaf. Now, <clears throat> we won't put this on top of the meatloaf until the meatloaf is almost done. When that meatloaf has a bell maybe 10 minutes to go, maybe 10 to 15 minutes to go, we're gonna take this and we're gonna slather it all on the top of that meatloaf. And then we're gonna throw it back in the oven for those 10 to 15 minutes. And boy, you're gonna have a sauce that goes on top of that meatloaf that is delectable. You hear me? Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna give this a taste and make sure this is the taste that I'm looking for. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah, absolutely. Mm, mm, mm. Now, there's a lot of people that just likes to use tomato sauce alone, and you can do that. And there's some people that just likes to use ketchup alone. But I like to use the ketchup, tomato sauce, and a little bit of honey. And boy, it's so good. All right, now, our meatloaf is in the oven. When the meatloaf comes out, I'll let you know exactly how long it took to cook. And then I'll show you how to put this on. And then we'll give this beautiful meatloaf a taste. I'll be back, everyone. Now, one more thing. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to make a nice brown gravy for the top of my meatloaf. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm not gonna do the brown gravy, but if you wanted to, you can. And if you haven't seen my video on how to make gravy, hey, check my video out for how to make the smothered pork chops. Because when I did that video, I show you exactly how to make a nice brown gravy. Okay, so you can check that out. And if you don't wanna make a homemade gravy, then hey, go ahead onto the store, grab you a jar of beef gravy, hey, and you're set. Okay, everyone, this meatloaf has cooked for 45 minutes. Okay, so I've taken it out of the oven that it cooked on 350 degrees. And now we're gonna put our beautiful sauce on that we mix with the ketchup, the tomato sauce, and that honey. Put it on there nice and neat. Nice and neat, don't just throw it on there. Okay, look at this. My goodness, oh yeah. And we're gonna put this bad boy right back into that oven. Hoo wee, you hear me? Mm, mm, mm. This right here, oh, this right here is what you call one beautiful meatloaf that's gonna have so much flavor. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness, look at this. Would you just look at this? And I like to put this on kind of thick. Okay, now if you're someone that doesn't want yours to be thick on there, then by all means, you don't have to. Just put as much as you like. Like I always like to say, however you like to have yours, make it that way. Okay, because once you make this, make it your recipe. And like I said, feel free. Feel free to make gravy or go out and get you a jar of gravy and pour on top of this bad boy. Oh my goodness, would you just look at this? All right, so here's what you need to do. You need to throw this back in the oven. 
excuse me. We need to throw this back in the oven for 15 minutes. Then we'll take this out. We'll let it set on the counter for a little bit. And the reason for letting it set is because we don't want to cut it right away. Because if you go in and you cut this right away, what will happen is all of your beautiful juices will come out. We don't want for that to happen. So once we take this out after it's cooked for 15 minutes and our beautiful sauce on top has set, we'll slice this up. And I'm going to let you all know what this tastes like. Be back. Okay, everybody, our beautiful meatloaf is back in the oven for 15 minutes. We're going to let that sauce set up on our meatloaf. After this video, I want you all to stay tuned because I'm going to show you all how to make one of my favorite potato salads. Oh, yeah. I'm doing another video right after this one. I'm going to show you all how to make some of the best potato salad that you've ever had. Okay, everybody, look at this beautiful meatloaf. It's done. Our meatloaf cooked for one hour and a half. All right, I went ahead and cooked it a little bit longer. Let's take this out. We're going to let it set on the counter. Before we cut it, we're going to let this set on the counter for a good 10 minutes. That way we don't, that way all of our juices don't flow right out when we cut down into it. We'll let this set and then we'll slice this up. I'm gonna let you know what it tastes like. Okay everyone, I want you all to take a good look at this. And so I did have some oil and some water that was in the bottom of the pan and we just poured it off. No problem because you're gonna have that oil and that water in the bottom and you do want to pour it off. Okay, so never mind the ingredients here in the back. Those ingredients back there are for my next video. I'm getting ready to make a video for that potato salad I told you all about. We're going to let this set for 10 minutes and then we'll slice it. Okay, everybody, look at this beautifulness of a meatloaf. Hey, I didn't come to play with them today. You hear me? I came to feed some people and make them happy. Look at this. Look at this, my word. Let's grab a piece. Oh my goodness, let's grab a piece. Okay, I'm gonna grab this piece right here. Don't fall apart on me, baby, stay together. And would you just, would you just, mm, mm, mm. look at this. My goodness, this is gonna go perfect with my potato salad. Oh my goodness, and here's the thing. Look at the flavor in there. Can you all see that beautiful flavor? Oh, you see it. You see the different colors going throughout. My goodness, isn't this wonderful? And it stays together just perfectly. Just make sure you let it set before you cut it. Look at that. Hey, if you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. Let me give you guys a taste of this and then I got another video to get started on. Okay. Okay. Let me let you all taste this piece right here. My goodness. Taste that piece. God bless this meal. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for feeding us today. All your blessing, taking care of us and keeping us safe. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Send your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions and give us peace over our mind. Lord, please forgive us for our sins and help us to have mercy on others. Fill us with an overwhelming sense of peace and joy. And we thank you once again for this meal. Amen. Taste that. My goodness, taste that. That right there, oh, this right here, this is what you call meatloaf. Mm -mm -mm. Take that last bite, guys. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Good night.